Hello my friends and welcome, even for experienced photographers, picking the finest camera can be challenging because there are so many different models and price ranges to consider. The greatest camera for photography isn't always the most costly or powerful model, rather, the best camera for photography is the one that is best suited to your needs. Here is our ranking of the top 10 cameras available today for all types of photographers and others. Nikon D3500 this classic, affordable DSLR is the perfect way to get started in proper photography. Our go-to camera for a very long time has been the Nikon D3500. Although it's not the most sophisticated DSLR available, we recommend it to beginners because of its ease of use, responsive controls, and high-quality photographs. The D3500 lacks a variety of features, like hybrid on-sensor autofocus, a touch-sensitive fixed rear screen, and the ability to record 4K video. Nikon's newest AFP retractable kit lens is a small marvel and focuses extremely quickly in live view, even without on-sensor phase detection autofocus. However, its 24-megapixel sensor produces super-sharp, super-high-quality photographs. The D3500 is the ideal entry point for using interchangeable lenses since it handles well, is simple to use, and is more powerful than it appears. Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV Fancy a pocket-sized camera for travel and social posts? This little Olympus is small but powerful. The Olympus is a great camera for learning about photography and video since it has a flip-over screen for selfies and excellent in-body image stabilization. It is also small and portable enough to use on a daily basis. The EM10 Mark IV is the best entry-level camera because it can perform almost everything, has 4K video, and has nice aesthetics. The advantage is that the lenses are smaller and lighter, despite the fact that it has a smaller micro four-thirds sensor than comparable mirrorless cameras or DSLRs. This is a fantastic tiny camera that is much more powerful than it appears to be and may last you for a very long time. GoPro Hero 10 Black For action and adventure filming, the GoPro Hero is the go-to choice. If you're searching for your first action camera, the GoPro could be a little more than you need, but if you're looking for a camera that can shoot incredibly smooth, high-quality footage, this one can't be better. Although it may resemble the GoPro 9, which is currently in production, it is a major upgrade. It has a new G2 processor, which doubles frame rates, makes the UI incredibly snappy, and powers the greatest image stabilization technology currently used in action cameras. Its standout feature is its ability to shoot in 5.3K 60p using GoPro's new HyperSmooth 4.0 video stabilization. It offers the finest low-light performance of any GoPro to date. Canon EOS 90D For traditional DSLR enthusiasts who want the latest features. Although mirrorless cameras are extremely popular, we have included the Canon EOS 90D for all of the DSLR enthusiasts who are still out there as well as for those who have drawers full of Canon lenses. The Canon EOS 90D is an incredible APS-C workhorse camera that combines a 32.5 MP sensor, the greatest resolution ever seen in an APS-C sensor, with a high-speed frame rate of 10 frames per second and stunning uncropped 4K video, avoiding the irksome crop that has historically plagued Canon cameras. Its handling and ergonomics are wonderful, reminding us of why using a DSLR is such a satisfyingly tactile experience. It is also accessible at a welcome enthusiast price point, not Fuji to mention Film the XS10. fact that it captures beautiful images. For enthusiasts images. and upgraders, the XS10's image stabilization, 4K video and flip-out screen. The only drawback we can find with the Fujifilm XS10 is that it lacks the exterior exposure controls of the higher-level X-Series cameras, but even with that, it's obvious that this is no amateur camera, as its handling and build's quality immediately stand out. Fujifilm fans may be disappointed by the switch to a traditional mode dial, but this camera has a very wide appeal, especially in this price range, and offers perhaps the best balance of performance, quality, and value in the APS-C mirrorless camera market right now thanks to its excellent finish, build quality, and handling. We rate this new camera higher than our previous favorite, the X-T30, in part because of its very angle back screen. Sony ZV-1 If you don't need interchangeable lenses but you do need a pocket-sized vlogging camera, this is it. For any type of serious photography or filmmaking, we typically advise using interchangeable lens cameras, but we'll make an exception in the case of the Sony ZV-1. 
In comparison to its Micro Four Thirds and APS-C rivals, it has a fixed 3x zoom lens and a 1-inch sensor, but it makes up for these shortcomings with a super compact body that can fit into a jacket or even a trouser pocket and a body, controls, audio system, and rear that are brilliantly optimized for vlogging. The woolly hat you see in the photos is a wind muffler that is included with the camera. This camera's autofocus is blazingly quick and does an excellent job when you hold objects up to the camera. DJI Pocket 2 If you're more into vlogging than stills, the stabilized Pocket 2 gimbal camera is just amazing. The DJI Pocket 2 might make an excellent travel-slash-vlogging camera, even though we've gone off the deep end with our notion. It wouldn't be the first option for still photos, but it's 16MP photos, it can go up to 64MP, are probably better than those on a smartphone, and it can also take programmed multi-row panoramas that are stitched in camera. Even a wide-angle add-on is available for stunning interiors and architecture. However, its video shines, thanks to an integrated gimbal that offers a smoothness that larger cameras can only hope for. It includes three follow modes, just like a real gimbal, plus a tiny controller for motorized pan and tilt motions. This one differs in that it can fit in a shirt pocket. The Integrated Touch Screen DJI Mini SA A drone will give you a unique perspective and amazingly stable video, and the DJI Mini SE is easy and affordable. The DJI Mini SE is best viewed as a flying smartphone camera from a mid-range device in terms of quality. This drone can hover precisely thanks to its inbuilt sensors and has a 3-axis mechanical stabilizer for its camera, but that is a high bar these days and unquestionably much higher than toy drones with their choppy video. Yeah. Drone professionals may conclude that the 2.7K video resolution is insufficient for them, but the majority of first-time users will be astounded by the video quality and steadiness. Yeah. The Mini SE is the ideal present because it also barely falls under the required 250G registration requirement and has a considerably more hospitable entry price than anything else DJI sells. The app software is user-friendly. Sony A7R Mark IV And for sheer resolution, nothing in the full-frame market can beat the 61MP Sony. The Sony A7R Mark IV boasts the highest resolution yet seen in a full-frame camera making it one of the R variants in Sony's A7 series cameras. Not only is the detail reproduction excellent, but the camera also offers a 10 frames per second continuous shooting speed, 4K video recording capabilities, in-body 5-axis image stabilization, and one of the most potent autofocus systems ever developed, including the greatest IAF in the history of the planet. However, one of the most persuasive arguments for choosing the Sony system is the wide selection of lenses that are currently offered, both by Sony and by other lens manufacturers, as well as the popularity that the Sony brand has gained among professional photographers. Canon EOS R5 If you're ready to turn pro and want to shoot photos and video, the EOS R5 is a top choice. Canon's newest flagship mirrorless camera, the EOS R5, appears to be attempting to dominate every market niche simultaneously. It features a brand new 45MP sensor with a new low-pass filter that creates images with remarkable detail, as well as the EOS 1DX Mark III's class-leading autofocus technology, which has an astounding 5,940 AF points for photography and 4,500 for video. The video specifications of the EOS R5 are cutting edge. Canon is aware that this is movie quality content because it can internally record uncompressed 8K RAW footage at up to 29.97 frames per second in 4.2.212-bit Canon Log or HDRPQ, both H.265, in both UHD and DCI. Up to 119.88 frames per second may be captured in 4K and the new frame. Those are the best cameras you could buy. What is your experience? Do you have a question about the cameras? Share it in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications, so that we can keep bringing you more awesome content. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and you won't miss any of our new videos.